coach. Good evening, gents. How are you? Good evening, Mr. McCarthy. Coach, All good. Good. coach uh, uh, give us your impressions of the 90 minutes for Amazonia. Um, yeah, no, listen, I think um, not the result that we wanted. Um, definitely not um, what we expected. But overall, listen, with what, they, what, what I had to deal with, you know, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with some of the performances from, from the new guys that, that integrated with the team. But and overall, the way the team played, we started a bit slow, not like our usual stuff like we did last season. But like I said, it's a new season and some players had to get used to the way we play, the way we do things. So, so yeah, we started slow. And I think the first Cape Town City goal was really very well taken goal from the left back. But it was pretty much given to, to them by us because no one putting pressure on, allowing the player to run almost from the halfway line all the way through to the, to the team and then just slots it in. So they, get, they go up 1-0. And then very easily, early in the game, they, 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 they settled their nerves. And now we're having to chase things, which when we find our, when we found our feet, I think we, things started to become a little bit more, more easier. And um, yeah, and then, yeah, we, we were comfortable from there, from there on in. But okay, and then you come in halftime after creating at least three or four changes, three or four opportunities where we could have probably gotten back into the game, um, get an equaliser and then go into the half, but we don't. And then second half, the first 10 minutes of the second half, I think we just continued where we, where we left off in the game. Um, Majoro missing a fantastic opportunity and then a minute, two minutes later, then he scores the equaliser. So you think, okay, you know, now we can we on the up and the momentum is with us and, and we can go and, and, and get that second one and the third one that we might just need to settle our nerves and then, you know, um, take the game away from City. But yeah, Eric Tinkler and the way he sets his team up, um, very defensive and they 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 they, they yeah, they, they they stopped us from penetrating and, and hurting them and getting that, that second goal we so desperately needed. And I think, yeah, they played the counter-attack football very well, very well. And um, the speed that they have up front and also the quality of the players, if you allow them the opportunities and um, they can punish you. And then for us, um, we wanted to avoid extra time. We wanted to avoid extra time because we know we've played um, the Premier Cup, which I think it was quite a, 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 a hectic on the guys, you know, and we didn't have the best week leading up to this game with, with, all, with all injuries and stuff that we picked up and missing now uh, 10 plus players for today's match. And um, yeah, so we wanted to avoid um, extra time and penalties and we wanted to just go for the game you know and um, so we made the changes that we did some forced changes Mulenga and Buchanan due to injury um, so yeah so we left us a little bit um, tipsy vulnerable in midfield and and, 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 and their foot but then chasing the game yeah you always find yourself open to to be exposed by our position and they counter counter attacking team and then when they got the opportunity got one chance from our mistake our mistake um they managed to score and then yeah they they scored the winner with three minutes to go to normal time and it was basically lights out for us and coach uh rob you had the first and uh, you can go for your question. Yes, coach. Coach uh, Robin Cape Town, unlucky. Uh, did you find the defence frustrating? Uh, there was a few times where I mean there was half chances where it was just stubborn defending that got in your way. 
No, Rob, how's it, man? First of all, um, no, listen, I was more frustrating with our end product. You know, for the last two days, we've been working on getting to the byline and those crosses in, the cutbacks. So in training, we were putting them in and, you know, the accuracy was there and we know where that ball had to go and where the movement has to be. And, and, and so, yeah, so I was, I was quite pleased that we managed to get to the byline. Pilani Zulu got into fantastic positions early, um, throughout the game. And, you know, he was, he was, he was delivering some decent balls into the box, but, you know, just the striker's movement a little bit let us down. And when we did get on to the end of things, we, the ball was going everywhere except for in the goals. Cape Town City as a goalkeeper who's very new to the league, who's new. So, you know, he needed to be tested and we didn't do much that as much as we created chances, but we didn't really trouble the goalkeeper. So that was more my frustration than than any other than worry about how solid Cape Town City was. I don't think they were that solid because we were ma we managed to penetrate quite very, but yeah, Majoro hitting the target, um, instead of just hitting the target and putting the ball in the back of the net, um, you know, he just, he just wasn't firing today. And I think, yeah, so we kind of let them off the hook. We let them off the hook with our not so sharp shooting today. And then, yeah, and then, yeah, they go and get one chance, almost exceptionally, very difficult compared to the ones we got. And, you know, the accuracy, the composer finish that um, Datsani had there at the end, and he slots it away. And then, yeah, then now we're it was already difficult to score against them because we didn't have our scoring boots on. And then you go concede the second goal with three minutes, three, five minutes to go, you know? Um, yeah, and it was just exceptionally difficult to come back from that situation. But listen, overall, I'm, 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 I'm positive, I'm happy, I'm excited about the team. I saw a lot of good things. Um, not very where we where we can adjust where we can have where we can get better. We can go and analyze this game now and, and show where we went wrong because yeah, our next game ain't no slouch either. It ain't no no easy game away from home against Sundown. So yeah, so we can go and prepare ourselves very well for that one. Coach Mark, you can go ahead. Uh, may I ask two questions? Uh, first one. Um... Uh, it's a quick turnover to Friday, and you've got and you've had all those hassles. I mean, will you be? Will you be? Can you be at full strength for Friday's game? And then, if I may ask you another one, just on um, how you see this PSL season, just in terms of a tactical approach. I mean, the high pressing game seems to be doing very well for uh, did well for yourself last season. Obviously, Sundown Swallows were good at it, but now Baxter is back. Tinkler are back. They're the masters of the counter attack. What's what? What are we expecting this season from? You think it's going to be a mix, or is everybody going to go high pressing game uh, because it brought so much success last season? Um, okay, yeah, good one, Maki. Um, I think for me, obviously, this week is going to be exceptionally crucial just to see if we'll be able to get. Um, our registered players registered in time and ready for 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 the Sundowns game because yeah it's key and very crucial players that I was uh, that I wasn't able to make use of today because of the registration you know like um Safa and the club in Amazulu so that problems and then obviously eleven players that we had. Um, positive for the tested positive, so we were without 11 players. That was self isolating. So on Monday, they'll be back and they'll be ready back at training. So we'll have everyone there. But now these guys have lost 10 days of having to self isolate themselves for 10 days and now having from Monday to Thursday to get themselves at a decent level so that we can go and compete against the league champions, you know? So 
So yeah, so that that will be a challenge, but at least it will just be nice to be able to have everyone back a full strength squad, you know, to choose from and 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 and, and so forth. And then yeah, the high press game. I think listen, if you watch the Euros, if you watch that's that's where the modern game is going at the moment, you know. You play high press, but you you first of all, most teams can play it, but you have to have a team that's fit. You have to have a team that understands how, you know, how the press goes and where to set the traps and how to get the opposition, you know. So you have to have that. And at the moment, we're a little bit off the pace because we had such a disruptive season, a disruptive, uh, disruptive preseason. So we didn't have the best of preseason, but you know what? We'll work towards that and we'll ease ourselves in nicely. Today was a good taste of that to see where we're at and you could see. You know, some of the legs were going towards the the 80th minute, and that and that we were that why we were able to concede in in the fashion that we did. You know, tiredness. We make mistakes. We try to dribble in the wrong area and then we lose the ball. But I think once we go, once we get going, I think the high press is always on. But I think with Baxter and, and Eric, these these guys are the masters of, at what they're doing with. Um, um, the counter-attacking football, but listen, from what I've seen us do today, how we open them up, I think I'm very confident, so I don't really care what other managers and what other teams are doing against us. That is our philosophy, that's our way we we try and press and we try and take the game to teams, so we'll press them in the right areas and we'll continue to do that because that's why we ended up in the situation that we did, because that was, that was our football you know, so we're going to insist with that. And if we have to adjust here and there, because playing in the CAF Champions League, then we'll have to adjust to that market. Thank you so much. And Rana, I think you are our last. Thank you. Yeah, because, thank you, brilliant. Uh, hi, Coach Spiewer here from Front Runner. Uh, I hope you've had a, uh, thank you, sir. I hope, I hope you've had a chance to look at the, the goals you conceded. Uh, do you think they were just a bit too easy as how they made solo runs to, to go score the goals? Thank you. Well, listen, like I said, I think we didn't have the best preseason. So we 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 were very disrupted due to whew, to this pandemic that's still going on, you know, that we suffered quite hugely with that. So we weren't able to work. A lot on 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 tactics on our tactical um, defensive, but you know, but today was 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 a good idea of of where we at as a team, and um and yeah, and I think um it was very soft goals that we considered because it was just people engaging and stopping um, the opponents running through at our goals, and that was it. It was like the C parted ways for him to go go in for the first goal and then the second one the same we tried to dribble at the back we lost the ball turned the ball over and then one pass in and then boom 2-1 to them you know so it was very soft goals but like I said it's the first game and we would have liked we would have loved to have continued in the MTNA Cup but it was the club's first so it was a new experience for us, but yeah, we'll prepare ourselves very well this season, so that come next season we're ready for it, and then we're ready to go. So, so um, now we've got a week to work on the mistakes that were made today, and that we're ready for Friday and the league champions. Coach, thanks, colleagues. We have the coach of Keton uh, City waiting. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thanks. You, sir. Thank you. I don't see you, Mark, in... Um in the spring box, the press conferences anymore. What happened? Uh, I got lazy, my brother. I said Nick said there. <laughs> okay. You see, there are two of us. We are clever. Yeah.
How are you, my brother? You're right. Isn't Petty paying you properly? The coach of Kansas City. <laughs> coach, thank you. Look up the coach, just not wasting much time. Give us your impressions of the game and congratulations for making it through to the next round. Yeah, I think it's tough. You know, this was going to be a tough game. And, and if there's one thing that I've tried to introduce here at Cape Town City is that it's not always about playing pretty football in terms of getting results. Sometimes you got to play ugly football to get the result. And I think to a degree, we, we did that tonight. I thought we started the game very well. I thought the first 15, 20 minutes, we looked good. We were playing according to the plan and instruction, looking to get into the wide areas, create the combinations, look to switch. And we'd done that and we created one or two little situations uh, that ended up leading to to a very, very nice goal scored by Terence. But I think immediately after that, we, we, we shut down. We, we seemed to go in our shell and uh, then we started having to soak up a lot of pressure from them. They started to press us a lot higher. We, we, we struggled to get out of our build-up phase. Once we got out of the build-up phase, in our second phase, our passing was, was not great. And we, we kept giving possession back to them and we try to fix that at halftime, explaining to the, the importance of obviously working very, very hard. You know, yes, we've played seven friendly matches during the preseason, but nothing compares to a competitive match like we saw tonight. And I also think the intensity of the game was very, very high because there was a lot of transitional phases, the team losing possession, having to recover and chase. So players worked harder today than, than probably they have in any of the friendlies that we played. So... I explained to them at halftime, it's going to be about who wants it more. And I think that's what it was really at the end of the day. We, we, we stuck in there. We, we unfortunately conceded the equalizer, but, but we kept going. We changed the formation just to try and strengthen us a little bit more in the wide areas, allow our wing backs to get forward. And when we did that, we, we got the winner right at the death. And I think the timing was, was obviously very, very good. I'm actually happy that, you know, we didn't have to go into extra time because... I think, you know, then then you'll be stretching the, the conditioning of the players. Thanks, Coach. Uh, Mark, we'll give you the opportunity for the first question. Thanks. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, well done, Eric. I wanted to ask you, and Benny alluded to it a little bit in his uh, TV interview, but that they, they didn't expect you to guys to come out and press them with, with such vigor, etc. at the beginning. They kind of expected you to sit back and and play on the counter, which is a little bit the reputation that you have as a coach. So my question is, do we expect a bit of a mix this season from you in terms of approaches, horses for courses, different matches? It's not going to be uh, the sort of the Tinkler, the Tinkler formula? I think many people don't know the Tinkler formula, to be honest with you, Mark. No. Because I, I, everybody I, has this opinion about me being a counter-attacking coach, but counter-attack happens in your own half. I normally don't press in my own half. I normally look to create middle third press or high press. Today we did high press and, and that worked for us in that first 15, 20 minute period. But like I said, we, we started to drop off, which is not what we needed to do against the opposition that we played today. You know, I think for me, it, it's always going to be analyzing the strengths and the weaknesses of each opposition. And then obviously determining then exactly what is our approach going to be. You know, but I know there's a lot of people out there that believe that I play on counter, but I don't. I actually play on transitions. Uh, and there's, there's actually a very, very big difference. Many people think there isn't, but there's a massive difference between transitional football and counter. Yes, Coach, Rob. Thanks, brilliant. Uh, coach, well done. Um, coach, just a, a little one. Uh, was Craig Martin's change a, a tactical change or was there any uh, knock or anything? And, yeah, Craig, uh, Craig complained and, and, of, of fatigue. Okay, cool. And, and secondly, uh, just your impression of some of the new signings and how they fitted in. Yeah, I thought uh, we, we can talk about Mayo first and foremost. You know, we played him up as a striker today. Uh, and I thought, you know, for his debut, I thought he actually done very, very well. I think he could have, obviously, when we went 1-0 up, I uh, thought he could try and get a little bit more actively involved in, in the game. We struggled to find him for large periods. 
Uh, but I thought his work ethic defensively was was exceptional and on the ball made one or two mistakes, but but that 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 is expected. And the fact that he played as long as he did was almost 85 minutes. Uh, I thought he coped very, very well for his debut in, in the PSL. So I was very, very happy with his with his performance overall. Um, then Hugo, the goalkeeper, you know. But that doesn't surprise me, to be honest, because we're talking about a man who's been playing in Europe for many, many, many years. Uh, he's play, been playing at the highest level. There's over a thousand matches under his belt. I uh, thought his performance was exceptional tonight, you know. Came out for the crosses when he needed to in the build-up phase. He looked to be there to, to add the extra number. He was rotating the ball. His distribution was very, very good. I think he only made one mistake from his distribution. He's coming out for the crosses. There was a punch that I remember. And then there was obviously a save in the second half, very, very important towards the end uh, that he had to make and, and, uh, and a very good save, you know. But that comes from from the experience uh, that he has. So, you know, I was very, very happy with that. But I think the, the most important thing for me in tonight's uh, performance is what I said. You know, you're going to, we need to win games playing ugly football. Last season, we were trying to play too much pretty football and, and that didn't give us the results. That, that also meant we, we conceded a lot of goals. But I thought defensively, we looked a lot better. We looked more structured. We looked more organized. And those are the important things that we take from it. Uh, and hopefully now also that builds the confidence. Obviously, in the back of the players' minds is the the five one loss, you know, the last time around against Damazulu. And I think that 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 played a, a slight factor here uh, this evening after us going one 0 up. Um, but yeah, happy for the boys because now hopefully we can move on. Thanks, coach Robin. Coach, I just wanted to find out here. Um... Yeah, how far is it to be back? Because he suffered an ACL bad injury last season. And then your reaction on getting swallows in the semi-final, what is your thought? Because I know when you're in the semi-final, you're a winner. You always want to win. Sorry, who was the one that you were referring to, the player? Uh, Dav, Dav, how far is oh, it to be back? Dove. Ed Milson, yeah. Dove, he actually he's now been training uh, fully with uh, the team over the last week and a half. But during that week and a half, he's actually played, been involved, not that he's played, he's been involved in two friendly games. Uh, the first friendly against um, Stellenbosch, uh, he got 15 minutes of game time. And then the second friendly against Cape Town All-Stars, he got 30 minutes of game time. He stayed this weekend, played a, a friendly game with the Disky team. And uh, I think they pushed him up to 45 minutes there. So... He's slowly getting back to, to full fitness, but he's a, he's a proper professional, proper athlete. He looks after his body. So it's no surprise, you know, that, that you see him back as, and as healthy and as fit as he is right now, you know. So he'll be back in the squad uh, pretty soon. In terms of the, the draw, right now, you know, you've got to beat anybody and everybody if you want to win the, the MTN8. I think the fact that we've got a home draw against Swallows, we've got to try and use that to our, our benefit. Uh, we go into the game now, obviously, with, with a lot more confidence and, and, and self-belief. But, you know, they're, they're, they're no easy games. You know, you want to win the M10-8, the competition that you're going to come up against are teams that all finished uh, above you uh, in the league last season. You know, Swallows had a fantastic season. Uh, so, so we're going to have to work extremely hard again to ensure that we, we get through, through that semi-final. Is that it, guys? Oh, one you. more, if you don't mind. One more. Your last, you're the last one. Thank you. I appreciate it, uh, Eric. Just, just in terms of um, what you've got now, in terms of squad, uh, happy with with uh, what's available, what you can work with. Excited about the prospect of this of the squad. Any little gaps that you might still want to fill? No, I'm actually very excited with the squad that I currently have. You know, tonight, unfortunately, we, we missed one or two players, which then made, in terms of my substitutions, uh, a little bit more difficult, especially in the wide areas, because obviously Fakhri is still out with, with injury, and Fakhri gives us a lot, especially if you play him out in the wide areas. So, so we were kind of lacking there. So hopefully we can get Fakhri uh, back into the mix also, you know, uh, Ajagun has been exceptional for us.
everybody available to to select from. I think that's important. We've got the young boy Bala, who I think has a bright future uh, through the midfield. But I think we 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 we're very strong in 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 that area in particular. And then obviously Fasika, we we didn't get his ITC in time. Only arrived today, but uh, he'll be available obviously uh, for the game against uh, SuperSport. So you know. I think we've got enough depth in our squad to to compete this season. Super, thanks. Sir. 